you guys saw my earlier video, I came across this Husqvarna mower that was being thrown out on the side of the road. So I took it back to the shop, cleaned it up. Engine runs beautifully, starts on first pull. But I uh, learned kind of towards the end there that the mower deck is cracked. So mower is no good. Um, lesson learned, I just need to be a little more vigilant when I pick something like this up to look it over a little bit more closely. But uh, anyway, I've got this older Toro recycler which has this Tecumseh mower, uh, Tecumseh engine. And this is a four cycle engine with the push to prime. Uh, and this engine runs pretty well. Uh, it starts usually second or third pull, which isn't bad. Uh, I don't really particularly care for the push to prime. And then also this air filter setup uh, tends to get dirty, especially if you're if I'm, uh, rinsing off the deck the filter will get wet and it's just kind of something that's not ideal. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing an engine swap here. Uh, I hadn't done this before, so this will be my first time trying this. I believe the mounting is uh, a universal setup, but what I'm gonna try to do is take this Honda, I'll remove it off the Husqvarna, and then we'll go ahead and replace what's on the tour right now. We'll see how that goes. We'll start with the Honda engine. Uh, so before we get underneath and uh, start tackling the bolts that are holding the engine to the deck, I'll go ahead and remove this uh, cable. This is the shutoff cable that allows for the engine to start. Looks like it has these two locking tabs that need to be squeezed in. Go. Okay, so got that off and let's uh, go ahead and get this guy on its side and we'll remove the bolts at the bottom. Okay, it looks like we've got three bolts on the underside. Here's where the, the deck had cracked through. So I do have this tilted with the uh, oil side down, air filter up. This engine does have oil in it. Pretty straightforward, uh, three bolts. And now we'll do the same for the Toro, it's the Tecumseh engine. Alright, we'll repeat the same steps on the Toro. It's a half inch socket. Again, free bolts.
what I'd like to do if I can is use the, the Toro blade assembly on the Honda engine. I'm not sure if I can, I'll be able to do that. It's, I'm assuming this shaft is the same, but that may not be the case on the Honda engine. If I can go ahead and use this, that'll allow me to use my Toro blades, uh, which would be great. Great, looks like that'll work. So it turns out I won't be able to use the Toro blade system. Uh, reason being, the key that's on the Toro piece uh, is smaller than the slot, so there is play in there. But more importantly, because the Honda engine has a smaller size diameter bolt uh, and the hole for the Toro blade is larger, there's actual play in the blade. And it's just going to be difficult to center the blade each time I put it on. Um, I don't see any other way around it. So um, what I'll do is I'll just have to use the Husqvarna setup, which is fine. Uh, I just have another recycler mower, so it would have been nice to be able to use it, the blades interchangeably. But not the case, no big deal. I'll just uh, get a replacement adapter because uh, the other one was sheared. And then I'll just move forward like that. The control cable on the previous engine came down the right side of the mower. Uh, fortunately, there's enough slack here in the cable where I can just come across to the left side here on the Honda. And this should go in pretty easily. Yep. And that's it. So uh, we did our engine swap. Let's see if we can go ahead and start it up, make sure to propel self-propel mechanisms working properly and should be all set. So just a few minutes to go from the previous Tecumseh engine to this newer Honda GCV 160. So I'd say that was successful. Uh, start tried up. I really do like the auto choke system. Plus the air filter is just uh, a little bit easier to maintain on this one. Uh, so one last thing I'll do, and I won't show you that, but the cable is a little bit too tension, too much tension for where I uh, enable starting. So I'll make the adjustment here to relieve that a little bit. Uh, other than that, I think uh, this went well.
So I will hold on to the Tecumseh as a spare should I need it. But moving forward, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Honda engine on this Toro recycler. So it turns out I am gonna show you that. Uh, this particular cable does not have any adjustment. It seems to be a fixed length. The cable that is the adjustment for the self-propel, you do have the ability to adjust tension there. But in the case of this one, uh, that's, that won't work. So I'm gonna to have to drill a second hole in the bar mounting bracket to uh, provide a little bit more slack on this cable. This hole here is the, the factory. And if I put another hole in there, inbound a little bit, that should relieve some of the tension on the cable. I don't need much, just a little bit. So we'll say, we'll say right about there. Let's try that again. All right, so let's get that back on the mower, give that a shot, and see if that gave us the tension we needed. Okay, so I went ahead and mounted it in our the cable in our new hole here, and that gives me the room I need to go ahead and bring the cable or the handle all the way back. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate the time you spent with me on this video. Uh, hopefully you find yourself in a similar situation and the information that I provide in this video is helpful. If so, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.